Hello everyone, my name is Tamus Winter Gibbings and this is 3TV Presents Whiteboard Wednesdays. Uh, it's a special episode. What I am going to be doing is explaining that eternal ACT election question, what in the name of Rosemary Follett is the Hare Clark voting system and how does it work? So that's a very good question uh, and it's a hard question. To answer this question properly it takes about four days minimum. I've only got about 15 minutes, maybe less, and some markers, a whiteboard eraser, and this whiteboard, and a metal chopstick. Time starts now. The Hare Clark system is named after Thomas Hare. He was an English bloke who invented the voting system, more or less, and also a guy called Andrew Clark, who refined it and introduced it to Tasmania in about 1900. You're all with me so far? Because that was the easy bit. Uh, Anthony Green suggests visualising Hare Clark like a pizza. Uh, I've, I've still got the whiteboard and, and the markers. The first thing you've got to do is vote. All right, that's the most important. No playing silly buggers, no donkey votes. Do a formal vote, vote one through five. Respect how lucky you are. It's very easy. Be a part of it. You may as well. The Tamus 2020 campaign for Brinda Bella does encourage you to put a one next to Tamus Werner Givings on the ballot sheet. Uh, I suspect it will stand out on the paper. All your ballot papers are then counted. Once done, the ACT Electoral Commission applies the formula. It's called the Droop Quota, which I love. Uh, and it is named after an English maths head called Robert Droop. He's from the 1800s. And so this is it. This is the Droop. Total number of valid votes divided by the total number of vacancies plus one, plus one. Does that make sense? If not, here's an example, germane example. Brinda Bella, uh, 2016, which is where I ran in 2016. There were 46,000 830 formal votes uh, and there were five vacancies five plus one so 46,830 divided by six 7,805 plus one 7,806 that was the quota that candidates needed to get in 2016 to be elected so then you've got to elect people so let's make this a little bit simpler Let's say I'm a candidate in a very small boutique yet well-represented uh, electorate called, I don't know, Tuggeranong. So let's do the voting for Tuggeranong in 2020. Tuggeranong has 240 electors and they are electing two candidates. There are seven candidates for the two spots. And we'll just do over on this side our iteration of the droop. So the quota is 240 divided by two plus one Two get vacancies plus one is three. Plus one. The quota is 81. A candidate, one of the two candidates needs 81 votes to be elected. Candidates. Um, Catherine, obviously I'm in it. Tamus. Um, John, Michaela, Beresford, shout out to my great, my grandfather-in-law, um, and Liberal 1, Liberal 2, 81, 81, the magic number, 81, the quota. I need 81 votes to be elected to represent Tuggeranong, which is fine, 
you to have a crack. Uh, I have to beat candidates from from the other parties, the Liberals. I also have to beat candidates from my own party as well, because the Hare Clark system is much more personality based. And successful candidates are usually well known in their local area through experience in local government, business, community or union activity, uh, which is a little bit of a problem for me because I have a great personality, according to Libby, but I'm not as well known as some of my colleagues. So let's go to the first round of voting. Catherine got 100, right? Um, I got 50. John got 20. Michaela got 40. Beresford got 20. The first Liberal candidate got 10. And the second Liberal candidate got zero. Zip. Zero. Zilch. Middle of the donut. Not even a uh, sausage from the school barbecue. But I'm happy with 50, to be honest. Um, that's a pretty decent, pretty good show. But Catherine is elected which is a bit of a surprise, but she's a very strong community con uh, candidate, so congratulations to her. However, she only needs 81 votes. So a surplus of 19 votes gets distributed according to preferences, but at a lesser value. And that's called the transfer value. And that's worked out like this in Tuggeranong. I'll need the whiteboard again. Transfer value is worked out by the number of votes uh, the, of the surplus, so she had 19 votes surplus, divided by the number of votes that were voted for her. So she had 100. 100 she got 100 votes and she had a surplus of 19, which makes her transfer value 0.19. So her votes are re-examined to determine the number of votes for second choice candidates. I got 80 of Catherine's second preferences, which are transferred to me at 0.19, which is 15.2 votes. John got 15 second preference votes, received as 2.85. Beresford gets four as 0.76. And the Liberal, with some votes, gets one, 0.19. So the new totals are, if anyone now had a quota, their surplus would be distributed similarly. They'd be elected, their surplus would be distributed. However, as we can see, no one does. Thanks to the droop formula then, all eyes turn to the bottom of the table. Hello, our conservative friends. I'll just give Catherine here a big tick and she is elected. So the transfer value only affects distributed votes above a quota. So the candidates with the lowest number of votes get excluded and their votes are distributed effectively upwards, but at a value of one. The lonely liberal with no votes gets excluded, then ignored. Which is delicious. Their colleague is next to be excluded and eight of their votes go to, I'll use red for this one, go to John uh, and two to Beresford which means 22.76 and 30.85 are the new tallies. Unfortunately, still no one has a quota. And we really look at the totals again. Uh, my good Labor mate Beresford, uh, he's excluded as the first of the Labor candidates with the lowest tally of 22.76. His votes get distributed on preferences. 15 to John, three to Tamus, and five to Michaela. So, new tallies, green. Tamus, 68.2, Michaela on 45, and John coming from behind 45.85. Michaela is excluded. How will her preferences fall? Well, mostly they fell to John, but not enough and not quick enough. Tamus received 15 votes. I only needed 13 to take me above the quota of 81. After 13 votes, John is still only on 58.85 votes and is therefore also excluded and I'm elected to join Catherine in a bit of a stunning upset 
but great news for the people of Tuggeranong as an elected candidate for Tuggeranong in 2020. And that is the Hare Clark system. Count the votes. Determine the droop quota. Total number of formal votes divided by the number of vacancies plus one plus one. Declare elected any candidates with votes greater than or equal to the quota. Uh, if the vacancies aren't filled, determine the candidate with the lowest vote and exclude them from the count. If the number of candidates remaining in the count still does not equal the number of vacancies yet to be filled, distribute the preferences from the excluded candidate. Use the transfer value for any surplus votes. Rinse and repeat until, until you've filled the vacancies. Job done. See you in the assembly. Lunch, everybody.